In the next few lessons, we will be studying about the basic features of NumPy and these lessons will serve as a quick start guide for you to getting started uh, with how to work with NumPy packages in Python. So let's look at an overview of NumPy package. A uh, NumPy package is a third party package which extends the language with multi-dimensional arrays. And uh, this has become very important part of Python ecosystem and NumPy is the fundamental package for scientific computing with Python. And here by scientific computing, we mean uh, dealing with numbers, maths. So let's see. Uh, the main object in NumPy is the homogeneous multidimensional array. And it is a table of elements and all the elements are of the same type indexed by a tuple of non-negative integers. We will shortly see example of all of this, whatever we are studying here, so that it will be more clear. And in NumPy, uh, we call the dimensions as axis. So let's see an example. Y you will say that this has one axis. Uh, and along that axis, it has three elements. So the length of the axis is three. And uh, the number of axis is one or number of dimension, which we will call ndim. We will see other attributes as well. So ndim will be one. And that will be three comma. Here we have, it's a two dimensional array. You see this is first row, then you see a comma here, then the second row. So here number of axes is two or the number of dimensions. And NumPy's array class is called ND array. It's also aliased as an array. And this is not the same as standard Python library class array.array, .array, which handles only on 1D arrays. Here we will see examples of ND array and we will create one dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional, and even many more dimensions are possible. So the important attributes which are not present in the normal standard array class, these are some of the attributes. NDIM, this is the dimension of uh, the data, number of axes, which we have already seen. Then we have shape, it will denote actually how many elements are along each axis. For example, if you see this, here along the first dimension, it has uh, three elements in the second dimension it has two elements so two cross three we will shortly see example of this then we have size and what is size size is the product of all the elements in the shape so if a uh, array is three cross five then its size will be 15 that is in total there are 15 elements then we have D-type, which denotes the type of each of the elements in that ND array object. And then we have uh, item size, which denotes uh, the size of each of the elements uh, in bytes. And then we have data, which denotes the buffer that is used to store the elements, but we don't use it generally because we access the elements of ND array with indices. So we will not need the last one. So let's see an example of this in Google Colab Notebook. So first thing you need to do is import NumPy and we give an alias NP and you run Shift plus Enter. So now NumPy package is imported. Next, we will create one array. So let's call it A and we will call A range 15 so it will uh, add all the numbers from 1 to 15 excluding 15 so it will be from 0 to 14 and we will use chaining that is whatever is the output of this apply a function to it so we will reshape it to 3 cross 5 and then we will print a so uh, we have given it a shape of 3 comma 5 so you see 3 cross 5 matrix here or two dimensional array. So first we will do a dot ndim and it should print two because it has two axes along the first axis, along the first dimension, there are three elements along the second axis or dimension, it has five elements. So it should print two, two. 
and now uh, we want to know how many elements are along each of the uh, dimensions here we have explicitly created it so we know the shape but we may want to know it programmatically when we are dealing with some complex code so let's call shape attribute and it gives 3 comma 5 and next I had said that when we call size it's the product of all of the elements of the shape that is 3 cross 5 total 15 that is total number of elements so let's call a dot size and it gives 15 uh, next was uh, d type and it gives int 64 so the type of all of these elements is int 64 if we add float there it will become float uh, then we had element size or um, sorry item size so int 64 denotes uh, that there are 64 bits used for storing each of the elements and item size gives the value in bytes so one byte has 8 bits so it should return 8 64 divided by 8 uh, next let's print the type of a here we are using general python type and it says numpy dot ndra uh, now let's take a more generic example let's say b equal to np dot a range and uh, let's add 24 or let's keep it 15 and let's reshape it 2 3 5 what is total 15 30 so let's make it 30 so i have created a three dimensional array it has three axes or three dimensions so it should be 2 cross 3 cross 5 uh, array let's print b so you see these are the first dimension you can see two or uh, two arrays each of size 3 cross 5 3 5 3 5 so total it has 2 cross 3 cross 5 and uh, again uh, b dot shape so it gives the number of elements in each dimension and b dot size you can play with it and it gives the number of elements and you see this will be the product of all of these all the components of shape and here also the type will be ndra So that was just a brief overview of NumPy. Uh, we will continue uh, with uh, arrays in NumPy and we will see how to work with uh, arrays, how to do different operations on arrays. And later we will see a very important concept called broadcasting in NumPy, uh, where we can do operations on uh, arrays of different shapes. So stay tuned for that.